so in additions the second method that is left to right additions using vilokanam sutra vilokanam what is vilokanam vilokanam means observation okay so this method is also known as spark addition why we call it as spark addition spark addition means within no time with just within by looking at the numbers only we can able to tell the answers that much fast we can do in this method spark addition spark within spark time we can able to tell the answers okay now let us see the concept of spark addition using vilokanam sutra okay now see here so in this one we have we'll get two concept first concept is end number concept end number concept what do you mean by end this end number suppose for example let us add what is 4 plus 8 12 yes right in this 12 this 2 that means the ones plus digit we will consider as end number the rightmost digit okay we are okay after adding any two digit numbers and if you get double digit number like this the rightmost number or rightmost digit that is ones place digit we call it as end number what is 4 plus 8 12 in 12 the ones place digit that is 2 we call it as end number or end digit okay right next what is 5 plus 9 14 and what is the end end number 4 exactly 7 plus 8 end number 5 why because 7 plus 8 is 15 okay in that one 5 is our end digit or end number similarly you tell me what is a uh, 3 plus 9 end number yes 2 7 plus 4 end number yes 1 a plus 9 end number yes 7 okay now uh, 4 plus 3 end number see 4 plus 3 means you are waiting only 7 right so the digit itself the end number we have to consider like that okay so what is 4 plus 3 n number 7 right now what are the uses of these n numbers we will see in the coming uh, concepts okay now another concept we will see what is another concept of uh, this method is carry and non-carry numbers carry and non-carry numbers now what do you mean by carry and non-carry numbers let us say suppose 7 plus 8 what is the sum you are waiting going to get 15 what is 3 plus 4 what is the sum you are going to get 7 obviously everybody know this one right but whenever if you are adding any two digits and if you are getting the sum 10 or more than 10 10 or more than 10. let us take one more example similarly suppose uh, which is going to get the sum as 10 uh, 6 plus 4 10 only right 6 plus 4 10 7 plus 8 15 3 plus 4 7 in this one whenever if you are adding any two digits and if you are getting the sum 10 or more than 10 we have to consider those numbers as carry numbers okay greater than or equal to 10 we call it as carry numbers and if the sum is less than 10 if the sum is less than 10 okay these numbers are known as these numbers are known as non carry numbers that means which doesn't use carry that's it okay which numbers those numbers are not given the carry that's why we are calling it as calling them as non carry numbers and since these numbers are giving us carry as one okay we are calling these numbers as carry numbers okay right now now let us apply these concepts and go deep into the method how these concepts are going to help us in this method okay